So, how you, how's it going, everybody? I'm Brian, and I work in Pro Music Gas. It's the shop we're in. Uh, there's three floors, musical instruments. We have books. We have repair services. So we have everything. That's most people in Cork know the shop because it's one of the few music shops left. This is the Barons section. Traditional Irish music, books. So obviously downstairs is mainly books. A lot of exam pieces. A lot of schools and colleges come in here for. Uh, their uh, books that they use for pieces for exams and stuff like that. We do button accordions, this is kind of the accessories, all our strings are over here and all our cables, uh, flip drum, violin music, there's piano music, there's pretty much every instrument we have. Every instrument? Yeah, like of the mainstream ones obviously, like some instruments we wouldn't have. We do a lot of tin whistles, high quality and cheaper beginner ones more keyboards over here uh, kind of more portable designed ones uh, some some of our less expensive percussion is there too and we do a lot of books like you know just selection of songs from certain artists or just from a certain era and stuff so people just like to sit down with a book play the chords learn the song yeah because like these are full 88 key keyboards they're weighted keys like the piano so if you want to learn piano piano then these are probably better and obviously they range kind of 450 and up then so it depends on everyone's needs but we try and cover as many angles as we can you know so a lot a, a, all along here like we sell absolutely tons of ukuleles which is why there's so many on this side so people like them because they're small they're not very expensive and if they're either want to travel and they don't want to they don't want to carry a size of guitar or whatever they can yeah. use those so it's, it's really handy uh, yeah, so we have Fenders, Tanglewoods, and some classical guitars here as well. They all start, you know, around 130 and up. I was just about to say, what yeah. price range would, would those guitars be now? Yeah, yeah, so we start at 139 with like, oh. a sort of bag and some plectrums. And some of them have pickups. We have a few lefties as well for left handed people. Uh, Very good price on these guitars as well. Yeah, they're not bad. And, and they, like, they, they range. Some of them have built in tuners and features like that. But, and down the back, then it's few uh, you know some banjos and stuff and uh, more books lots of books musicals uh, choir music it's like a library this floor is like you know if there's anything you need we can always order it so you know we, we order a lot of books in. I've actually been in this shop and I've never seen the banjos <laughs> they're awesome I know yeah they're cool I mean I'd love to get a five string I'm still thinking about getting one but uh, you know get a nice one I think I'd, I'd like to get a nice five string banjo yeah but well, we'll save up and I'll do that then. But yeah, that's kind of a lot of what we have down here is like this is all uh, classical composers and then there's some and then there's some uh, books like, you know, easy piano for all the levels and what people want um, or what they need. And a lot of these are, are either classical musicians or people need these pieces for studies yeah. uh, for piano because there's a, there's a lot of obviously pieces that people have learned throughout the years still every year they don't change too much so we still need to stock their pieces it's we need a shop like this in cork you know yeah i think it's nice to come in i think people like to come in and, and maybe have a go with the guitars have a look through the books just to browse even it's the same with record stores in town you know people just like to go in sometimes they mightn't buy anything but they just want to go and look yeah have somewhere they can go in and browse what records go you know they look at records either they're interested in or records they heard in their youth whatever it is you know um, so it's nice to come in and just browse our own books, especially, you know, the drum section here now is, is we've got some really classics that only nerdy drummers like me would know about these old uh, stick control. This book has been around since, I don't know, the 50s probably. But it's it's kind of like, it's one of my favourite books but, um, for learning uh, drum techniques and drum rudiments and stuff like that, you know. But there's loads of books like that. Yeah. That uh, they're very, they're, they're a little bit niche, let's say, but that a lot of people who would know would know about it if they were musicians drummers especially yeah um, yeah let's go <laughs> so this is the first floor studio monitors and that's our dj equipment some pioneer stuff we do roll and stuff um electric guitars fenders burnies gills we do a lot of a lot of different brands you know Schecters. And the Yamaha Pacific guys and the Squires, they all range kind of around 180 up to about 250. 
Now there is a pack that like Squire do, it's yeah, 299 yeah. and there's an amp, small amp, bag, cable, yeah. guitar, no it's all in there, like it's 299. Yeah. But I mean some people want to go that a little bit, a little step up, so they'll use something like, um, they might get one of these Squires for around say 389. But they start, like these are 219, they're a really nice guitar, very simple. Tele Telecaster, it's around design that's been around since the 50s and I think Probably in the last fifteen years, there's been there's way more choice than there was when I was a kid. Yeah. You know, you'd have to spend two or three, uh, maybe more, three hundred pounds probably, to uh, to get a nice guitar. But now there's so many guitars being made, just the quality is up. Yeah. For not a lot of money. Now some people obviously might think that's a lot of money. It depends on how serious you are about kind of getting into music. Yeah. But I think for electric guitars, one hundred and eighty is probably the lowest I'd have. I don't have one on display. But um, those squares are very popular. Um, even something like this, this PV is only 180, nice. and it's a really cool guitar. I mean, it looks pretty good. It's well made, and um, you know, there's ever obviously it, like the, the good thing about buying from us is that you have a warranty. So if anything goes wrong, you can just come in and we can fix it for you straight away, or you know, get the manufacturer to sort it out. But we normally fix things fairly quickly. Yeah, yeah. and it's, I think it's also a lot better that. Um, getting your guitar or your instrument in a local shop because you can bring it back Do you know if yeah. you get online there's no it's harder i think and there's no personal touch either no and some people will say that's a good thing yeah <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the dj stuff we have here actually garrett's our dj he's a our, our, our master dj hello hello so playing your stuff um is probably the biggest seller because um you know they're a reputable company and but we, you know, we, we do other, we do other uh, electronic stuff that's further on down here as I can show you anyway. Uh, and obviously, you know, this is full of Pioneer stuff. Um, yeah, that's cool. And, you know, some lighting stuff. You know, we don't, we don't do a ton of it, but we do a, a good bit of it. You know? yeah. These are the classical guitars, which we sell a lot of. We probably sell uh, a lot of them downstairs too for beginners. And what else have we got around here? Yeah, there's kind of a nice range of, of stuff we try to do. No, some fairly high end stuff and some cheaper stuff. Uh, headphones. Oh, you have a nice selection of headphones actually. There's some little gems, you know, I've never spotted yeah, in the shop. Yeah. There's a, there's a, we, we do like even, even cheaper stuff, like 20, 29 euro stuff as well. But we find that, you know, people when they get headphones, like if they're into music, they want to get a decent, good quality one. So we try and cater to that as well. Um, all here then is electric guitar amps and bass guitar amps. She's, she's some selection of those actually. Yeah, a lot of them are valve. So um, some of them are solid state, some are valve. A lot of digital amps, you know, with built-in effects. A lot of people buy them because most of the time they might be just practicing at home, and you know you, you don't have to buy like loads of pedals. Yeah. Uh, you can just go and plug it in, and all the pedals are built in digitally. You know. So they're kind of cool. Um, and we sell tons of those. Uh, what else is yeah, so that's most of those. These are kind of old vintage, or not vintage, but these are valve amps. Uh, Blue Juniors, stuff like that. A lot of Fender stuff, PV stuff. Bass guitars all along here. Oh, these are the bass guitars, okay. Yeah. Music Man, Schechter, Warwick, Aria, a few other brands as well. Obviously, Fender will be probably the biggest uh, brand for that. And we do microphones, all different types, studio, USB, home recording stuff, and guitar pedals. Uh, which everybody loves. Everybody likes just looking at the guitar pedals, I think. Yeah. So there's uh, a lot of those. A lot of different brands, you know, it's hard now because there's so many different guitar pedal brands out there that it's very hard to keep up with uh, everything that comes up because every year there's a new brand and it's... You know, we try and stick with the stuff that people use the most, the loop station, stuff like that, distortion stuff, boss pedals, rats, all this kind of stuff, you know? Yeah. And some of the Fender pedals that are no, that are really nice, I must say. And obviously, SM58s, all the standard kind of mics that people need. Um, just over here, then we have kind of audio cables, bits and pieces like that, just, and then some more microphones and some home recording equipment, uh, which we sell a ton of. Do you know if someone wanted to get set up um, yeah. doing uh, vlogs and they need the mic? Yeah. 
Um, what what setup would you recommend for that? Well, there's a few options with that. We like Zoom have this one, which is just a podcast. It's just no. It, this, as far as I know, this is just the microphone and the headset. So you might obviously you might need an audio interface to 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 stretch it out a bit. Yeah. Uh, and get the full use out of it. And we have kind of like I suppose like what a lot of people use is the SM7B. But it's a, it's quite an expensive mic, you know, and right. um, you know people like whoever Joe Rogan and people like that. I mean, he's the, I don't really watch a lot of them, but I know he's big. But I know he uses the SM7B, but it's, it's a mic that you have to be on, and you need an extra uh, preamp to boost it. But I think a nice condenser mic, and even these are USB mics. Like they're designed to be four tracks that you can carry around and record on them, like a little four track recorder. But they're USB mics too, so you can just plug them straight into your computer. And you can start recording, uh, you know, and, and do things like that, or just use them as a separate microphone source and use your phone, yeah, like you're doing, and and, and sync up the audio later. So you can get really good quality audio with your, you know, phone video, which is usually better than a lot of DSLRs these days. Um, or else, just you get these packs for around two hundred euros. You get the mic, an interface, and a pair of headphones, um, and off you go. You know, maybe buy a mic stand and then you're you're set up. Now there are some devices that we are getting in that are things like this, which is a Roland product that is kind of designed for use with your phone as a, as a vlogging device. You know, very handy. Yeah, I mean, I suppose a lot of people you uh, microphones are a lot better these days on on cameras now as well. Yeah. But if you want to bring it up to the next level, which is obviously if you want to put your microphone over here. Or if you want to put your video over here and you want, you know, you want the, the, the mic to be close while you move around, it's, you know, it, that, that's, things like those zooms now are good because it's a separate microphone that you could just have and then you can sync up the audio later on with your, whatever, whatever app you're using. Like, I'll be actually coming into the shop soon enough yeah. to buy equipment to make my audios and my videos a lot better. Yeah. So... It's interesting to see them here for myself. Yeah, well, from what I've read, a lot of people, especially in the video or, or you know, online and YouTube, or whatever, uh, audio is kind of your your number one spot because you, if the video is okay, you'll get away with it. But if your audio is poor, it, it people, it's, it, you know, because we're, we're, I know we're visual beasts as well. But if the audio is kind of bad, people get bored and they move on because you know how fast mm. people turn over yeah. videos on YouTube. Yeah. They just go, oh no. So the audio is obviously vital. So, like, obviously, as as a musical shop we're we're all about microphones like but yeah. we also have to cater for for the world of people who want to record on their phones and people who want to do podcasts or blogs or whatever it is so you know one of the guys here is, is uh, aaron he does a, a, pod, a podcast it's uninformed you know it's called it's yeah. funny it's just him and his friend and they talk a lot about yeah. everything but um on spotify but um you know even he bought some gear here because you know it's 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 just it's easier to come in and just say right I've got a few options what would be the best option for me am I moving around am I staying put do I need video in the future da 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 so you know we have to be up to speed as well on what people need yeah so everything is here for anyone that wants to get set up to do YouTube to do Spotify to do yeah. any social media basically and if if there's anything we can get we can always order stuff in you know you know yeah. uh, as I say it's kind of uh, it's hard to cater for every single thing because obviously as you can see here we have. You know synthesizers, uh, you know uh, drum machines and sequencers and small little you know bulky beats, drum machines, samplers, all this kind of stuff. So it's there's such a big world of stuff out there. It's hard to try and have everything in the shop. So and it's it's fit, as you can see, it's everything is it's full of stuff. It is. So yeah, yeah. we can't have everything in the shop, but we can always get things. You know, we can always order things in if it's Korg or Roland or Pisonus or Stag or whoever AKG whoever the company is we can get their stuff you know so uh, we that's the only way we can expand what we have because yeah. new stuff is coming out all the time but uh yeah so that's this section that's that's kind of this section really i think kind of covered and yeah as i say microphones we do a lot of mics and we have more mics down at the end um i think yeah microphones are like, like yeah the whole the whole videography vlogging podcasting world is is a massive thing at the moment right? it is and it's only going to get a lot bigger i think yeah you no know? and it's interesting because you can you know you you can find things that you're actually interested in you know yeah and and the, the level now is getting higher and higher as time goes on people are especially with youtube and 
the internet in general you can find out oh what do they use for that or what lighting are they using or what mics are they using and um it can only be good for the quality of the of the products let's call it products yeah be, and uh, i suppose the content then is the is the harvest how do you single yourself out as a as a vlogger or as a podcaster why why would people want to listen to you you know what i mean yeah but if under the hood if the foundations are good you've good lighting and you've good video and you've good audio then at least you know without that you have a good no start you have a good foundation yeah and it also looks better and you feel yeah. better about it which means yeah. you're more likely to work harder with it because you think okay i've got a good foundation uh instead of starting up here and forgetting about you know the simple stuff good microphone technique where you put the microphone where you put yourself even in the room yeah you know and even if you don't have if you can't afford lighting you know sit by a window where there's nice light and and you know that's where photography and, and videography meet is that if you want something to look nice a certain time of day or even just a, a a blind that you put up on your window will make the light look nicer so as it so as you can look nicer yeah i know it's it's, it's not vital it depends on what you're i know do you know all this is a, it is advice and I'd, yeah. say, I'd say you have quite good insight and knowledge about it so yeah i yeah, yeah. I, I spent a long time learning about photography as well for yeah. myself for my own it's one of my passions one of my hobbies like so um i i kind of really enjoy it and i i noticed that it kind of transfers over to people who do videos as well because it's it obviously videography is much more dynamic uh, with photography you can kind of set yourself up and pick something and then work on that whereas if you're out doing videos and stuff obviously there's a lot lot more variables going on yeah especially outdoors where the light is always changing so i suppose the idea is like for for podcasts or vlogs you know you can do it in a certain environment where you can control it and if you can control your audio on the move or on the go then you know that's a big part of your sound and you're obviously a big part of your sound but a big part of your i hate using the word product but it is it is what it is you know you're, you're yeah. trying to bring give something to people that they might like and if they like it maybe more people will come and the basics are what it looks like what it sounds like and the content of course it doesn't matter what it looks like if if you're talking about your hands you know unless you can make it very interesting <laughs> then i don't know i don't know maybe yeah. people are into that i know asmr is a thing so uh but um people yeah. are into a lot of weird stuff so <laughs> we don't want to go down that route no, yeah. no. but uh you know it's 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 great though because so many people are trying it and so many people are more creative uh, well they probably were creative all the time but they didn't have a way to leave it out you know yeah. they didn't have a way of doing it and even from the point of electronic music a lot of people might not necessarily know to play an instrument but their ears are good and they know what they like so they know that but the electronic um DAWs and workstations and computers help them uh, uh, generate something that they mightn't have ever been able to do 50 years ago yeah you know and it gives them another outlet and it's good for their mental health as well and joe i think, think what's great for musicians as well is the platform of the internet for learning do you know it's, it's amazing yeah totally absolutely um, yeah and i think i think there's a that has to be taken kind of from two sides because you to be careful where you source your information as well as we know there's a lot of things a lot of information out there that might necessarily be accurate yeah yeah and then that leads people down a different path but i think most people who especially if they're musicians and they want to share their knowledge I suppose in a certain way the internet is good because it will let you know if the person is actually accurate or if they're good because a lot of people will watch it. No, I'm talking about music. I'm not talking yeah. about politics or anything else. Yeah, yeah. Just from the musical point of view, uh, musicians will come down on somebody if they're given bad information, uh, and I'm sure that's similar in, in other spheres of life. Um, but I think there, you know, if you're trying to learn how to play an instrument or do a video or whatever it is, um, there's there's a lot of good teachers out there who are given good information now there's it, there's nothing quite like a one-on-one -on -one, um uh, teaching experience yeah but to get the foundations of anything there's a lot it's brilliant there's brilliant tons and tons of really useful information i suppose the trick is narrowing down and not wasting your time you know going to places where because it's very easy to get distracted online you know you go down yeah. a wormhole of uh, i don't know cat videos whatever people watch i don't know <laughs> but i think yeah i think overall from the point of view of just looking up something quickly and finding out what how to do it uh, it's brilliant yeah and, and it means people can get to work faster and get creating quicker and not fiddling around learning things quite as long you know now it's good to learn things obviously especially instruments but it it, it, it helps that along and helps helps you get out what which is the goal is to create give something out from yourself and 
you know, whatever it is, whether it's bloody makeup, music, you know, playing an instrument, whatever it is. Um, I think I think it facilitates more creativity, which means people who who didn't have that outlook before have it now. That's a long-winded way of saying that. Yeah. But it's great because everybody is, you know, whether it's art or music or novels or poetry, it's it's a wonderful medium for people to express themselves and just share it with their friends, even if it's just their friends and family. <laughs> yep, so thanks, Brian, for showing me around. Um, I really appreciate it, and I hope a lot more Cork people get to see the shop and people from outside of Cork. Thanks, Andor. Appreciate it. Yep, thank you very much, Brian.